Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I've got a really big commission coming up. I've got um, a, a canvas that's a metre wide, a metre long by 50 centimetres deep. Um, and I'm going to do a Dutch pour on it for a customer um, with a marbled black, white and silver base and then a turquoise design Dutch pour over the top. Um, it's a big canvas, so I'm going to do a practice and that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to do a really small 30 centimetre square um, canvas practicing these colours and the technique that the customer would like so I can then show her make sure that she's completely happy with it before I go ahead with the real thing um so let me show you the colours so here are my colours so in the in the base colour I'm using this one De La Rowney Pearl Black I'm also using Silver by Pebio Studio Acrylics and Amsterdam White. And then in the design, I'm going to have, have a hint of black, De La Rowney Black, De La Rowney Thalo Turquoise, and then the two Pebio Studio Acrylics colours, the Iridescent, Iridescent Blue Green and Iridescent Green Blue. Now these look really similar here, but actually when they're actually out on a canvas or mixed in a pot, they actually look quite different. In fact, they're just here. It's these two. You can see the difference. Excuse my stained stir sticks. So the green blue and then the blue green, they are quite different. Um, everything here is mixed with this flood flow troll. And I'll put the recipe in the description of this video for you. So as I said, a 30 centimetre square canvas. I've got my black, white and silver here. So I'm going to go for a variegated base. I'm going to put some of the colours down and then just blow them out with the hairdryer um, just to get a kind of marbled effect. So I think to start with, I'm just going to start with some white. In fact, I think I might put a white base down. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to I'll cover the whole thing in white and then I'm going to marble the colours in afterwards, I think. So let's just blow that out. Right, so let's now, I'm just going to drizzle some of this in. I want a reasonable amount of the silver. And then I'm going to drizzle in some of the pearl black, but probably just a bit less of the black. Right, let's blow that out, see what that looks like. Right, just a bit too much white here. So let's do a little bit more there and then I'm just going to blow this little section out again. Right, yeah, happy with that. Actually, or am I? Just this bit, not happy with too much dark black there. Right, I think I'm there. That is perfect. Love that. It's not too dark, too light. Really happy with that. The cells that are popping up are just beautiful. And this is just purely for the base. So the idea of this Dutch pour, the um, customer would like one of the, the bow styles. Um, have I got one to show you quickly? So a little bit like this, I hope this is in focus, where I put some colour all the way across, but it pinches in the middle and then it fades outwards towards the corners. So that's the idea. So I'm going to 
put some colours centrally and then just fan them out very slightly and then blow that out um, with the hairdryer. So this time I've got the three turquoisey colours and then some actual black, some proper black, um, which I'm going to put on very carefully. So I think, how should I do this? I think I'm just going to start with the green blue. So I'm just going to do a diagonal wiggly line. And then I'm just going to add just a little bit of extra here and here, just so I know I can get that it really nicely fanned out there. Ooh. And then the same down here. Great. Um, I think I might now add the black. I'm going to put it on with my stir stick though because it, it black makes me so nervous. If I put too much on, I think it could ruin it. Wow, that black is going under the surface of that green and it's creating almost like a purple colour, a purpley bluey colour. It's really beautiful. Right, that's enough, I think. Let's go now for some of the dark, the phthalo turquoise. And then some of the blue green. Right, that's plenty. Great. So to blow this out with my hairdryer again, I'm going to start in the centre and just go in that direction. In fact, I'm just going to twist the canvas round slightly because I find it much easier to direct the hairdryer up that way. It's got a purple in it. I like that, that's really pretty. Right, same again this side. Right, I did that differently. That time I blew the central part and then at angles and that, was, that works better. Um, but I'm still going to do some fiddling now. So far, I'm really pleasantly surprised. I'm very surprised by this purple. It's a real purple. So that's the black and the turquoise and the green colour. How interesting. Right, so I'm now just going to spend some time blowing around the edges to soften the edges. Um, this bit here I don't like at all at the moment. So I'm just going to spend quite a bit of time just tweaking all these edges. I'm absolutely fascinated by this. So at first glance, my first thought was that, that it's it's quite crowded. It's quite it's quite busy. But I actually think if you imagine this is 30 centimetres, if you imagine 50 
but then by a meter by a hundred and I'm going to do three of these bows across the canvas I think it will be really quite spread out you'll get a lot more of the negative space which isn't so negative it's <laughs> quite positive it's quite um, detailed um, but I think it will actually work much better on a really big canvas it feels a little bit crowded here um, but the colors are just absolutely beautiful um, let me show you the base first. The base, I, I love it, absolutely love it. Um, it's wispy, it's marbly. Show you up here. Um, there's some beautiful cells, some beautiful effects. Um, so I will show the lady, the husband and um, wife this and see what they think. Make sure they're happy with that. Um, and then make sure they're happy with the design and the colours. Right, look at the purple. Isn't that beautiful? Wait, I say purple, it's a purpley blue. Just there, so that's the black and the green. So that's that's a surprise to me, um, how black and green can make purple. Uh, it must be the way that the black is made, the, the colors that have gone into it to create the black. Um, look at the cells. So using iridescent paints, you, you get more cells and they're just beautiful. Um, and then, so that's, so it's a larger area in the corner and then it just funnels down. So you've got this pinched area, it's smaller area in the center. Um, and then it fans out again, this end. And then again, some more cells. Um, I love how the colors just all swim together. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy. Um, I will show the customer and I will be back when it's dry. So it's now dry, it's dried really, really well. Um, the surface is just so beautifully smooth. Um, standing back, I do still think it looks a little bit crowded and a little bit fussy, um, but I think that's just because this is a small canvas. I think once this is on a much bigger scale, I think it's gonna work really well. Um, the marbling effect is just beautiful. The little silver cells that have popped up there, um, I love just the, that mottled effect. I think it's um, it's really nice. It's just quite natural, quite organic looking somehow. Um, and then the actual design, the colours are just gorgeous. So you've got such a nice mix of cells and blended colours. The black that I added, you can see some there um, and a little bit there. It's I think it's just right. It's not too much. And I think it really balances the base colour well. You can see some black in there. Um, I think it just breaks up that turquoise and ties it in with the base. Now, you've still got this really unusual purpley colour. If I move it, can you see? So it's all iridescent. So it's, as I said, where that green has mixed with the black. So I have no idea how those two colours can make this purpley colour. I just thought black would make everything darker, but clearly not. So it's got a really beautiful, I'm there, look. It almost looks like that blue-black color, Pebio Studio Acrylics blue-black. Um, so it's actually really pretty. So the whole thing um, is really quite iridescent, the base and the design colors. Um, so I will now show this to um, the client and see what she thinks um, and then if she's happy, go with it. If she's not, then just make some adjustments um, in preparation for the real thing. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.